Hello everybody, it's Julie. I'm here again on a Saturday. I have been playing with makeup this morning. Today I wanted to try the color Scarlet on my lip and cheeks. This is a very red shade that often we are afraid to try. So I thought I could go through my routine as usual, what products I'm using, and show you what all is in my palette. Come join me this Saturday and we will have fun. Come on, let's go. Okay, to begin, I always start with um, a clean face. In the morning, I just basically use um, the Terror Mare Aloe and Tea Tree Toner. It's an anti-aging toner. Um, at night, I will use my Saint Milk Cleanser, which is fabulous. I love this. It leaves the skin so smooth and it doesn't foam, it doesn't make you feel dry, but it has lactic acid on it and you just massage it over your skin at the, in the evening. And then you um, take a microfiber cloth, like I have here from Saint, and you just kind of work it off your face with warm water. Um, and the reason I use a gentle cleanser like Saint Milk Cleanser at night is because I use the fabulous Curology Future Formula. I think that our future proof formula, this has 0.05% um, tretinoin, it has azelaic acid 5%, and it has niacinamide 4%. So this has made a major change in my skin. I try to use it every night, okay? So in the morning, I don't have to foam, I don't have to cleanse my skin, I don't want to strip the, um, the skin forget what it's called but there's a barrier of oils there that you want to keep intact so I'm just going to use this uh, tea tree toner and it was gifted by a friend wasn't really looking for a toner but I do like it a lot it doesn't make you feel taut or anything okay and now we're going to do our Dior serum which I love the texture of and um, we're always trying to look for something that does not feel heavy underneath the makeup so at night I use the Curology uh, future proof formula because this has the tretinoin which is the retin a um, ingredient it's like the gold standard it's better than retinol it works a lot more efficiently at turning over dead skin and renewing the skin as we age our skin does not renew itself as often it needs a little help so I find with that I do not have to use a mechanical like scrub on my skin that does it all but in the morning I do like to use an anti-aging serum and that's why I use the Dior Capture Total Le Serum this product is great underneath makeup. It's very milky and watery. Smells amazing. And you just smooth it all over your face and your neck. And what's great about this product is that it absorbs so quickly. And it gives you like a firm, tight canvas prior to makeup application. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So the Dior ladies are always calling or texting me about events that they're having. I am really not interested anymore in Dior makeup. I think Dior makeup is fabulous, but I am a teacher and I don't make a lot of money. So buying something like Christian Dior when I have found a product called Saint, which is my favorite makeup line. Regardless of whether I sell it or not, this will be what I use probably for the rest of my life until something better comes out. But you know, Dior makeup is fabulous, but do I need to spend um, $60 on a foundation? There are people that have that kind of money to throw around and that's great. But for me, um, I love being able to purchase lots of makeup 
and get more for my money and the quality is still really good if not like on the skin if not better it looks better on me than anything i've ever used from a luxury brand the same makeup but christian your skincare is amazing um, i was not a fan of their on off cleansing mousse it was a little bit too drying on my skin but there are probably other products that you could find if you wanted to commit to Dior skincare. Um, but again, Dior has long been a favorite brand of mine. I used to work for Dior back in the day. And excuse me, I have like a little bit of uh, stuffy nose going on. But if you're looking for something that looks high end, that's not gonna break the bank, I would strongly suggest Saint Makeup, um, which is a line that I was introduced to two years ago fell in love, used it for a year, and then I thought, you know what, why am I not promoting this product? And when I sell Saint to my friends and family, they give me um, compensation for that. All right, now that the serum has absorbed, we're gonna go in with an eye cream, which I have been using for a long time. Um, the Tula Revive and Rewind eye cream I've been using, and it's lasted a long time. We could totally use that today, or I do have a sample that the Dior lady gave me. It's called the Super Potent Eye Serum Capture Total. We could totally use this. Now what's nice about this is that it has a cooling, oops, there goes some of the product. It has a cooling rounded tip. Oh, and it does feel really good. Okay, so we're gonna try this as part of the capture Total line, and we're just gonna take a little bit on my finger. That's probably enough for both eyes, and we're gonna just tap that on, and I'm gonna just smooth it on. This is probably way too much, but that's what came out when I pressed. I'm gonna use a little bit on the socket here, and then we're gonna go in and use this handy dandy little applicator here to smooth it on. And this is going to help with dark circles, firming, puffiness. The Capture Total line by Dior is a line that kind of addresses all of the signs of aging. Okay, that's why it's called Total. Okay, so there's that. This is going to take a little bit of time to dry before I can do anything underneath the eyes. You can see it has a sheen. Okay, and we'll see how that looks. But it feels really good, very lightweight. Okay, now what do I put on my face? I do have a tendency to get really shiny. So I typically will avoid like a moisturizer because what I know is from experience when I use a moisturizer over the serum my skin just with the makeup on it doesn't look good it just looks shiny it looks overly greasy um, I just feel like my skin is probably good without a moisturizer per se but I do feel it important to wear a sunscreen that has moisturizing capabilities so um, this is the Exuviance Skin Caring BB Fluid SPF 50 Broad Spectrum Mineral uh, Sunscreen. I believe this does have green tea extract in it. This is amazing underneath the same makeup. Like I see chats all the time by people who are, who are using Saint and they need a primer or something that goes underneath the makeup that won't compromise the makeup. Because sometimes you put something underneath the makeup and it, you, you won't really know how good it is because of the product underneath. So that's what I was facing. I had been using some Neutrogena sunscreens and they were just causing the makeup to look really shiny. But this makeup, the, the true beauty of Saint makeup is evident when you use this product underneath. And the sad thing is, is that I haven't checked lately, but a couple weeks ago, this product was sold out 
everywhere. Now, I did not see anything about it being discontinued, but it was not in stock. So I'm just really giving it a good shake. It's supposed to be a tinted BB fluid, but I don't really rely on the tint for coverage. I just like the finish of this. Um, it does not peel or it does not roll underneath your foundation unless you have dead skin. So with the Curology Retinol product that I use, if you do not use that consistently, like if you skip a few nights, your skin will start to peel. But if you use it every night, your skin does not peel. It's like it, it naturally exfoliates and you don't see big clumps of skin falling off your face. But if I do not use the Curology consistently and I skip a few nights, when I put this sunscreen on, you will feel the dead skin rolling underneath it. Today, I do not feel anything because I've been using the Curology consistently. I've not missed a night in quite a while. So this does not peel. It goes on really smooth. Now on me, it definitely lightens my skin. It kind of brightens it and lightens it. But I like to wait, you know, five, maybe 10 minutes for this to absorb. And you don't have to. It does dry really quickly. And then you can put your makeup on. So while we're letting this dry, I'm going to do um, my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I have done my hair. Um, there is a tool um, that I have been loving using lately. It is by a brand called um, Lange or Lange. This one is like a bubble wand and this gets really, really hot. Um, it is amazing for like that natural wave, that loose wave without using like a crimper or a deep waver, which kind of to me looks more like, like an 80s crimp. But this is just really pretty. It's kind of hard to see the texture um, with the darkness of my hair. But it is a very nice casual look. So there we go. So I use the bubble wand and what you do is you just take your hair and you kind of wrap, you put this in front and then you wrap around backwards, going towards the back of your head. And you just go around. When I change sides, I go the opposite direction. I do tend to not wear gloves and I get little burn marks. So it might be a good idea <laughs> to use a glove. I think it normally sells for like 80 bucks, but on Amazon, Recently, just a week ago, it was on sale for like $39. So I would check that out, amazon.com, and then go to um, Lange Bubble uh, Iron. And then another product I used was the Jizo Honey Infused Hair Oil. I've had this bottle for a long time. And I just use, not even a full drop, because I have very fine hair, but I use just a tiny drop of this on my hand rub my hands together and then I just kind of scrunch and it gives it separation, it gives it definition, it pulls out all the frizz and the texture and just gives you a really glossy, shiny look. So I really like that oil a lot, but if you use too much and you have fine hair, it can look greasy. But I just use the smallest amount and it really pulls out the texture really nicely. And then the hairspray that I like to use is called the Bondi Boost. Flex and Shine Hairspray. This smells amazing. It smells like fermented grapes, like almost like a wine, like a fizzy wine smell. But this is gonna hold the style and also add to the shine and the, and the texture of your hair. So I'm not gonna put a lot on right now because I do plan on coming back towards the evening and doing a little bit more curling. Um, we have a birthday party to go to. <clears throat> So let's continue on with our look. We're gonna start off with my Saint Demi palette, which I just recently picked up during the um, Saint August Rush sale. These were on sale. Um, I think if this was like $12 or so. Um, it is a Demi palette, so it's made to hold, I think, let's see here. 
is made to hold 20 demi or half size tins like the eyeshadow tin you see here or it's meant to hold 10 full size tins now the demi palettes are made for demi tins which are slightly different in dimensions from the full size tins so sometimes you have to kind of stagger them or create like a different layout so that they all fit but they will all fit they won't necessarily all fit going in the same direction, but as you see here, I have some going this way, some going this way, and that's how you make it work. So after your sunscreen has absorbed, and again, I use the Exuviance BB Fluid. This is a game changer underneath your same makeup. I'm gonna go for my favorite brush of the moment, which is the blush and bronzer brush. This brush is made for blush and bronzer but it works as a great foundation brush because it gives you that air brushed application, meaning that you're not getting a ton of makeup and a ton of coverage, and then you're not getting so wide of a coverage um, that it feels like you've just brushed all the makeup away. This is the perfect amount of coverage. I take the smaller end and just bounce into my hazel main shade, which I'm using right now, and then I just kind of press and move around the face. And with this makeup, you really do want to go with a shade that is slightly darker than the skin on your face so that it gives you coverage. And what you want to avoid is taking the makeup all the way down to the jaw. You just use this right in the center. Okay. Now this is a mistake to put your foundation right next to the blush. So we're gonna move this over just slightly because I don't wanna have red uh, added to my foundation. So this is a really easy to hold palette and it holds a lot of makeup in it. So I highly recommend the Demi palette. I really like them because Demi palettes only are one layer and all of the colors are on the same layer as the mirror. Where the other palettes that are tiered, you'll have other tiers that you can put your makeup on and you'll have lots of room for your makeup, but you'll have to flip back and forth to access the mirror, which can be a little frustrating. You wanna just kind of hold it and go. So this is really a great size palette and again this is the Demi palette 20 so that doesn't mean it holds 20 full size tins that means it holds 20 half size or Demi tins or 10 full size okay so this is just a really great color at the moment it gives me a nice airbrushed appearance and it matches the color on the rest of my body now we're gonna go in, so you notice I didn't put that all over. I just kind of went into the T-zone really quickly, okay? And I left the perimeter of my face uncovered. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use my detail brush, which is going to be great for applying my Demi colors. Okay, this is what I use underneath my eyes. I do not use the cream foundation under my eyes because it just always creases on me. And I don't have a lot of lines and wrinkles under my eyes that are visible. But the Demi is a thicker consistency and it's more waxy, so it's more resistant to creasing. So this color is great for getting rid of darkness. This is 03. Okay, 03. And then for additional brightening, I love the 01, just in the inner corner to give a little pop. So I know that this color might scare a few of us, but it really does brighten, and you'll see right now. So I'm gonna go into the 03 with the end of my detail brush, and I'm gonna just pat this on, and you'll see what I'm talking about you can see how instantly this side is flatter, smoother, and brighter. And you can see a pocket of discoloration there. So this color is 03. And you can actually use this all over the bottom of your eye without fear 
a bit creasing. I also like to use it on the lid. By the way, I am using Lilac Street Lashes. I love them. I don't use mascara anymore. I only use Lilac Street Lashes. They're at-home lash extensions. And you can subscribe, okay, and have them delivered. I'm gonna put it in front of my chest here so you can see. But they are little segments that you put underneath your lash. You don't put it on top like traditional fake lashes. And they are amazing. They last so long on me. Every now and then I'll get one that's hanging. Okay, like this one right here. I might need to readjust that one. And I just kind of take it off and then I put glue on it and glue it back and it's there. I can get by with um, a pack of lashes and it lasts me months. Really an affordable option if you want uh, really beautiful lashes and not have to put on lashes every day. I can even shower with them on and they don't move. After a week, you might have to re-glue. But look at the brightness underneath the eyes. So let's do this eye. Let's do the O3 on this side. I don't really like the Y01, which is a popular color underneath my eyes, unless I have a vein or something like that to cover. I prefer the Y01 for blemishes, like I have one right here. And the Y01 would cover that. That's really good for redness. But for dark circles, anything with O in the title, O1, O3, it will be great. Okay, so look at that. Really brighten my under eye. And then what I can do is take a little bit of O1, which is the lighter version of O3, and then I can go right in the inner corner for further brightening. And you can just see how that really brightens that pocket in there. So it's just a great combination to have in your palette and they don't crease, they're amazing. You can just take your finger and just lightly press just to make sure you didn't get too much. Or you can use your perfector sponge, which is like a beauty blender that Saint sells. Now we're gonna do some brows. Let's switch over to the brow brush. Not really sure if that's the title of the brush, but it has the spoolie on the end and an angle brush. Then you're gonna go into NV plus one. I use this strictly for lining my eyes or my brows. It's a wax, it's a demi product, and it lasts all day. So I just get a little bit of that on my brush. Then I go in and I fill in. And I actually love this so much that I use it instead of the brow product from Dior that I recently purchased. This is a great product, but I just like having all my makeup in one place. And if Saint has a product that works for brows, then I'm gonna go ahead and just add that to my palette. So this is Envy Plus One, great for brunettes, even women with really black hair. And again, the Demi products are waxy. They are resistant to sweat and water. They're gonna be a great solution for under the eyes, blemishes, areas of the face that you don't want to fade away. And you can see I get a nice full brow with the Demi color, okay? So there's one brow. All right, we have our brows done, and what I like to do is take our setting spray, the Saint setting spray, the caps are just are not matching because <laughs> I had to replace um, the nozzle on this one because I dropped it and it cracked. So I had an extra bottle of uh, <laughs> another product and used that, so that's why they don't match. But this is the setting spray, and we're gonna shake it, and we're gonna mist. So everything stays in place. And then I have a fan. This is a great item to have in your bathroom. So 
So this is, this is gonna help set the brows as well. You don't want to have smudges of brow product moving around on your face. <coughs> Okay, now we can go um, kind of downwards. We can do some eyes today. Because I want to do scarlet, I want to show you this color that often scares so many people. It is a satin formula, so it's very dry. Nothing really comes off on my fingers. It's not a gloss, so it's going to have longevity. It's going to be a beautiful wash of red if you apply it with this brush. Um, you can use the shape brush as well, which I have here. It's another favorite of mine, okay? You can use the shape brush as well. But if you want to have simplicity in your routine, just use the same brush that you use to apply your foundation and just get the brush cleaner. It, it's, a, it's amazing um, how few products you truly need um, in your bathroom. It's really great, it's liberating. So we're gonna do eyeshadow to match the scarlet today. I thought it would be nice to do something kind of in the um, butterscotch family. This is actually tangerine, okay? Is a beautiful color, kind of matches what I'm wearing today. And then my favorite kind of crease color lately has been the um, cocoa which on the website is like listed as like one of the darkest colors, but it's not, it's just a really nice brown. So let's apply this. Um, a lot of people have been using the balm to uh, put underneath their eyeshadow. I just, I have Demi on, so I'm just gonna go ahead with that and just use that as my primer. And I have a favorite brush that I'm going to clean with a brush cleaner. This is called the um, Blur Brush, I believe. This is our brush cleaner. You just spray it onto tissue. And it is clean, okay? So we're gonna go into Tangerine which is a beautiful butterscotch color. We do actually have a color called butterscotch, but I didn't grab that one because this one really stood out to me. Tangerine, it's gonna look really pretty with the scarlet. And I'm just gonna pack this on. This would be really pretty with a little bit of shimmer over the top, we could certainly do that. Um, and then I like to carry this into the crease the dome side of this brush and then I'm gonna do the cocoa kind of above the crease and just a little bit goes a long way look at how much payoff you get from the eyeshadows it seems I'm just kind of kissing the bone here with the brush just really want to get a pretty I'm patting. I'm patting it on right now. That's really pretty. And kind of take it this way. Because I have a lot of space there. And then start to diffuse. We don't want to rub too much in this area because it will turn red. We don't want that. Okay. And that's really pretty. And I could take a little bit of this, kind of hook it around a little bit. Kind of a smoke underneath the eye. Let's do the other side.
right, so it's very complimentary to what I'm wearing. My favorite eyeliner at the moment, really inexpensive, is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner in black. This just goes on so effortlessly. It is a pin. I don't even have to prime it. I just go right for the, the lash line with this. And it line dries. I didn't press the record button, so basically what I applied was the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara on the bottom to give my lashes a little bit more definition there. And now I'm going to go into our contour color, which is Olive, which I've been loving at the moment. It's a warm contour as opposed to a cool or ashy color contour. I can also use Indigo for more drama, and I can use Astoria and ash and stone there's actually quite a few shadow is a good one but all of i've been using and i feel that works really well i'm just going to take the detail brush again this was designed for contour and you can kind of see how i did half the brush in the contour and that's what i want i'm going to apply high so right above where the ear is and kind of come this way to give a nice cheekbone. It just looks so glamorous, doesn't it? This is just such a pretty color, okay? I'm gonna do my nose, okay? Just want a hint of shadow right there. You have to kind of have a light hand with this step. It just really narrows the nose, doesn't it? It's very pretty. And then I do like to do some across the top of the forehead just to kind of give us more emphasis on the center of the face. Do you see how this area pops now? Also go back and add a little bit more here. And just kind of build up the contour how you like it. All right, and then I like to do some right at the edge of the jaw. Really makes a difference. And then what you wanna do is just bring this down. And you can go back to your fluffy brush and kinda help that blend. Now it's time for blush. Cannot wait to try Scarlet. So here we go. We're gonna go right in with the blush bronzer brush and look how much comes off, a lot. And then we're going to go in and just kind of add a little bit of Scarlet. You can flip your brush over 
kind of help blend that a little bit. That's what that side of the brush is for. Doesn't take a lot because it is a satin formula. But look at the glow that that gives the skin. It just really livens up the face. It is truly a beautiful color. Like all of Saints Reds are so pretty and they're so wearable. Notice I'm not bringing this in near the nose. I'm keeping it kind of underneath the outer corner of the eye and high. Okay, so it just looks really pretty. I think I may have accidentally got too much contour. I should have left it alone the first time. Okay, isn't that just pretty? You can keep adding more if you like. You're gonna have this color forever. All right, isn't that just pretty? Um, you could do a touch of this kind of right in the center of the tangerine. It just kind of really unifies the look because you're moving this color here and there. Let's get our brush and blend that out a little bit. Just really unifies that look. So I'm going to put on some of my contour olive with the multitasker lip brush. I'm going to use a smaller end. Go in there and just kind of line. This extra step just really makes the lips look better. And then the greatest product to use underneath the stain um, satin lip formulas by Saint is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Lip Booster. This product will make your Saint satin lip and cheek colors go on so silky. So I put this on first. And it will plump the lips. It'll get them ready for that color. Really love that. Okay, and we do make a wonderful balm and gloss formula with Saint, and those are really fun to layer underneath your lip products as well. But I just find that this one is even more emollient, even more softening of the lips, okay? So now we can go in and we can do a little bit of the um, scarlet on the lips, okay? I'm actually just gonna use my finger just a little bit, goes a long way, leaning in. Just a flush of color. I think is all we need. We're gonna go ahead and set all this once more, and then we'll do some finishing products like powder, and illuminator. Okay, let me grab my setting spray. My fan. Okay, now that the setting spray is dry, I'm gonna go back with my vanilla dust. And again, all of these products are in the same palette. 
And I'm just gonna take the large end of my blush and bronzer brush and just kind of go through the T-zone. You can see how that just kind of airbrushes the look of pores in the T-zone. I don't wanna get rid of every bit of shine. I just want to kind of, wherever I put this, it's going to hold the makeup even more. So I think that's good. I kind of go right here, 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 and here. And then on the side of my nose where the contour is, just kind of touch that. Okay. Now, at this point, you could do some Bella bronzer. Okay. I don't really think that I need Bella, although it is a beautiful product. I'm just going to continue going forward. I'm going to use some Illuminator. And the one I'm going to use is actually an eyeshadow. I do have several illuminators, but this one has been so pretty. This is called Angel's Landing. It is an eyeshadow. Okay. Let me get it into the palette. This is the eyeshadow that I'm going to use as my illuminator. I'm going to use it on both the eyes and I'm going to use it on the uh, cheeks. So I'm going to take the Angel's Landing and I'm just going to pat it right over the top to give it kind of a crystal shimmer. Just a little bit of something there. And then I have this brush. I think that this is the wash brush. It is a demi brush. Cannot remember exactly what it's called, but I'm just going to take the fluffy end of this and just go into the Angel's Landing. And just make sure I have some light hitting the area where I want to put the, the um, illuminator. And this just gives a scattering of sparkle. Finely milled sparkle. It's really pretty. See that? Angel's Landing with an eyeshadow and a really pretty shimmer without looking frosted. Just a scattering of sparkle. Okay? You could certainly do that on the lips as well. Really pretty on the lips, okay? And then to top it all off, I will use some of this NYX lip oil. This is the fat oil. I don't like to use the applicator. I'm gonna take some and just go on the back of the hand and then use my finger to add that burst of shine. I think that the applicator kind of removes some of my color. And that is so pretty. What else do we need to add? Okay, maybe a necklace. Do you have some earrings on? These are really pretty with the look. And that is it, you know? Here we are, here we are. Our look, our saint look is done. All right, that is the Scarlet. You can see it's not too red at all. Scarlet. joining me. Um, I would love to have your business. If you need a saint artist and you need some consultation on what colors you would wear, what colors and products I recommend, just reach out to me either through email or through this chat. Um, I would love to have you as a client. Um, I will include my link to my shop. Those of you that shop through the link, it will go through as credit towards me as an artist. If you have an artist already, but would like to shop with me this time, you can use the link. Your artist will not know. And you can just say, thank you, Julie, for giving me these inspiring tips and tricks with Saint. I want to help you out this one time, but I have an artist already. Okay. So with that said, I will be back in the following weeks to share more colors with you, more lip and cheek shades, more combinations for eyeshadow and whatnot and we'll continue to have fun. All right, it's a great year with Saint. Have a wonderful weekend, bye-bye.